today we're going coyote hunting. Last time Nico was on the gun, this time's my turn. He got a nice little fox last time. Came to a different area where we've been deer hunting and we've heard quite a few of them around here so we're gonna go try calling some out. The wind's died down from earlier on today so it's actually really nice out right now. There's like no wind in here so it should be a good time. We're gonna set the call up, up over here and try and get the guys that are down lower to come up a little bit. And with the low ground being in it, we'll be tucked down a little bit and they won't see us until they come over top of that hill. And hopefully by then it'll be too late. Because the original spot we were gonna go to is just, it's too deep to try and get there. We'll see what we can pull up here in this nice little marshy area. Go get set up and start calling right away. Okay, evening sunset. Yeah. I know every time we were here in the summertime and we howl, we'd send off a couple howls, they'd answer back to us right away. So we're clearly pretty vocal around here. So let's see if we can get them to answer back with a couple calls. And with this deep snow, it's probably going to take them a little bit to get over here, even if they do answer us. They're going to have a track to come over here. so. See if we can get them to come out and play a little bit. I heard them a couple times too when I was set up over in that little bluff in the middle of the field there. Yeah. But they were coming from that side and over around here somewhere. So, but with that being said, that's a completely different time of year too. Who knows if they're even still around this general area. They were here because of the cattle in the summertime, right? So yeah. who knows? I don't think there's any cattle in here anymore in the wintertime. So they may have moved off onto the other side of the marsh where there's still cattle in there and they're still getting fed the grain and the the hay being pelled out. Because when the hay gets pelled out, the 
mice and the rabbits and everything go live in the hay, right? That's why they're all around there. And calfing season's coming up right away, so they may have moved over to a pasture where they know there's cattle and everything. Because usually we, you would have seen some scat or something walking in here when we were walking down that trail on the way in here, so they could have just moved on to better pasture area or a better area with it being so late in this well late in the winter time I guess but coming up to their mating season they're going to be traveling a little bit to look for their mates and everything too so and initially we were we were going to go to the other side um way on the other side of this uh, property on the other side of the road there um probably about two kilometers out that way but uh like that road was just snowed in so we couldn't get past that's why we just went over to to here where um, where I shot my buck so just to give it a try but initially we were supposed to go a little bit further out that way which probably would have would have been a little bit better a little bit more because I think yeah. there is there's more cattle out that way right yeah more hay, hay piles and stuff and stuff over there yeah yeah and there's a big marsh that they were living in and in the summertime is over there so yeah but we couldn't get in in there because of the road being snowed in so oh well we had to settle for this spot but uh it was worth giving it a try yeah. let's give it a shot why not right yeah a day in the bush is better than a day on the couch yeah <laughs> so there you go. well as you can see i'm packing stuff up and there's no yoke on the ground we tried we came here we did a a lot of call for probably like an hour hour and 15 minutes worth of calling so about an hour that. yeah which is we probably a good area but we didn't really get to the spot where we wanted to because of this darn white stuff here it's pretty deep and we had another three quarters of a kilometer trek and i wasn't up for that right now and the road going into that yeah spot the road initially. on the other side was it was blown right in you couldn't get into there so we had to kind of switch over to plan b instead of following up with plan a so we kind of did a Hail Mary and tried to see what we'd come up with and it's better to be out in the bush than sitting on the couch and it turned out to be a really nice day out today compared to what we were dealing with this morning. We were trying to go out target shooting with the massive crosswind. There's nothing in here right now so can't win them all every day and can't shoot them all the time so we'll be back and we'll give it another shot some other time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the website. We'll have a link down below. Go pick up some gear and support us. We'd really appreciate it. And you guys have a good year and keep shooting straight. See you guys later.